Hey guys, today I'm creating Eng from Avatar and then building in this floating magnet to make him actually fly. Oh, there you go. This is my attempt to bring the magic of airbending into our world. Since the latest collaboration in Fortnite, you can play as all your favorite heroes. From Avatar, The Last Airbender. I have always been fascinated by physical experiments like floating magnets. This is why I try to create a flying clay figurine. And this makes us just not any artists. We are elemental benders of the crafting world. In our latest adventure two weeks ago, we dove deep into the mystical world beneath the waves, sculpting the mighty Poseidon and exploring the secrets of the ocean with Shell Nate. This time we are shifting gears and altitude from the depths of the sea to the heights of the skies. Today's journey is all about air and ang. We are performing a delicate operation on Aang's left foot. It's as dangerous as it sounds. I'm bending the aluminum wire to create Aang in a dynamic air bending pose. Our guide for this ambitious project is the 3D model of Aang's Fortnite skin. I can rotate, I can watch from each side. Inside the game, Aang is a whirlwind of motion. Also in the trailer showcasing many different postures, I've chosen one particularly striking action pose. Aang in mid-attack, the right leg bended similar to the air sphere emote. But instead of putting the fists together, we are bending the left arm up in the air so he will be able to hold the air nomad stuff above his head while his right hand will perform an attack. And I can't wait to start working on this. These are the shoulder blades. Very important for the backside. They define the posture of the arms when watching from behind. And now we will dress him up. Nobody can complain anymore, like in the Poseidon video. No naked clay figurines here on the channel. With the orange rope, which are quite similar to the traditional ropes worn by Buddhist monks. In Aang's case, the rope covers most of his body and is the most prominent part of his attire, symbolizing his status as a monk of the air nomads. I am adding some wrinkles to get an authentic look. Over one shoulder he is wearing the yellow sash. It's more of a utility belt and also serves as a decorative element adding a beautiful contrast to the orange of the rope. And we also got this dark red belt. It is hanging down in the middle, somewhat resembling an apron or a split skirt, which extends from his waist down to about knee length. As mentioned earlier, Eng's left hand is raised above his head, gripping the air nomad stuff, ready for action. But his right hand, that will bring to life one of his legendary air bending attacks, capturing this moment requires not just precision in sculpting his fingers, but also a creative approach to materialize something as intangible as air or wind. We add another layer of poop protection to the trousers, which I totally forgot, and we will continue to work on the air nomad stuff. To craft a stable air nomad stuff, we start with a straight wire, coating it in brownish clay. Huh, this looks too bendy. <laughs> Let's try real wood instead. Ooh. 
Nope, another disaster. Back to a thicker wire. And it works. Now let's add some details to the stuff with some sharp edges. This stuff isn't only a tool for air bending, but also a symbol of Aang's identity and status as an air nomad monk. As we begin sculpting Aang's head, Let's talk a bit about who Aang really is. Not just as a character, but as a symbol in his world. Aang is not only the last airbender of his generation, but also the avatar tasked with maintaining balance among the water, earth, fire and air nations. As I add details to the face like the lips and nose, think about Aang's character. His white, expressive eyes, reflecting his youthful spirit, curiosity and wisdom beyond his years. His smile, which I carefully crafted, often shows his playful side, despite the immense responsibility he carries. After pre-baking the head, I'm adding some outlines to the eyes to make them pop out and stand out and we can make a first fitting to the neck and adding some clay for the back side of the head before putting him aside and putting him into the oven. This is our strong magnet and we are filling up the surface with some windy clay. I'm sticking in this piece of wire which will be our connection piece. Freshly baked egg. We carefully molded the head. Remember that Aang's appearance is distinctive with his bright blue arrows, marking his airbending lineage. These arrows, which we are painting right now with precision, run along his head and arms, symbolizing the direct flow of spiritual energy. We are painting on a very small scale. I'm not that good at painting. So we are cleaning up the edges with a scalpel to get some really sharp arrows on the head, but also the hands. And this isn't just about getting all his features right, but capturing the essence of this character. As we shaped this monk-like bald head, we are not just crafting clay. We are bringing to life a beloved hero whose story is about growth, adventure and the pursuit of harmony. And also appreciate Aang's journey with all the struggles but also the triumphs. Now that the figurine is finished, we can start working on the air and wind effect. We are inserting the wire into the clay stand, which cleverly doubles as a hiding spot for the strong floating magnet. And for the visible air and wind effects, what better material than this transparent acrylic bottle. As we cut out pieces, we are crafting a freestanding swirl effect that mimics the flowing air around Aang. We're enhancing this effect with my scalpel and some deep cuts, some lines. And as we secure the clay stand to the base of our transparent acrylic bottle, we are also using hot glue and strands of wool. We'll enhance this effect even further, adding texture and movement to mimic the gusty worlds. This is our last working step. We were adding some more strains of wool onto the hot glue sauce. Nothing can go wrong now. Hi. 
And carefully placing the figurine on top of the floating magnet to create the world's first flying clay figurine. That's it, Aang! From Avatar! I hope you enjoyed this elemental bending tutorial. Which creation would you like to see next? Leave it in the comments. Have an awesome weekend and week. See you next week. Take good care. Bye.